Hi, I'm Frances um, and I've been going to say say church now for 12 years and I can honestly say it was um, a good decision. It's one of the best decisions I've ever made. Um, coming from a Catholic background, which I'll come back to um, in a few minutes, but um, I'm married to Dale and we have three amazing children, although they're not really children anymore, but they're our children and they always will be. <laughs> um, they are 18 year old triplets. Um, we have Kira. Erin and Joe, and they are so close. They have such a close, close bond um, because they've come through like nursery school, primary school, secondary school together in the exact same class um, most of that time. And um, now that they have reached this age, they have gone off in completely different directions as far as their career choices um, uh, go. So we have um, Kira, who has always wanted to be a vet. Um, she worked so hard for it, she got the qualifications, she got the she took, got the experience and everything, but, but unfortunately God closed that door twice um, on her after being interviewed for um, that course. But it wasn't to be, um, albeit it was tough for her and she was really upset about it at times, but she now has accepted um, a course in bioscience and she starts university in Glasgow in September this year. So we're all looking forward to that. Erin left school a year early to pursue a career in fashion and she is currently studying in Glasgow Caledonia University on an international fashion branding course and she'll be going into actually a third year this year and um, absolutely loving that course, absolutely loves it. And uh, Joe, he has um, gone to Australia. Um, he has decided to go into worship ministry and um, been really obedient to God, followed um, his uh, calling and has gone to Hillsong Worship, Hillsong College, sorry, um, in Sydney. And he is having the time of his life out there and he's uh, doing well. He's completed the first semester and he will be probably going to second year come January. So first year, second year, third year, they're all at different stages, but they're all doing really, really well. Um, and it's a wee bit of background about myself. Um, I've got some notes here, so if I keep looking down, that, that's why. Um, I'm from a Catholic family. I'm one of six children. I'm the third oldest. And um, we went to Catholic Mass every single Sunday um, without fail because you've really kind of got to go to Mass um, because if you don't, it's like you are committing a mortal sin. <laughs> which is pretty serious. So you go to Mass. Um, we had the option of Saturday evening, Sunday morning or Sunday night. So therefore, if you happen to work shifts at the time, etc., then you don't have an excuse. You go because you've got those three options. Um, but coming to Southside, has, uh, I couldn't believe the, the difference um, in being at Southside Church because I feel now it's more of a faith than a religion and um, at the time when I gave my life to Jesus in the 26th of October 2008 I couldn't really understand why people were coming up and congratulating me and saying this is wonderful news and I was like but I've always believed so what have I done differently I really honestly didn't understand um, but now I do because of it you know a few years um mostly Bible, you know, study my Bible more. I never ever had a Bible as a Catholic. We never, I don't remember a Bible even being in our house because you really went with what the priest told you and uh, that was just the way it was and you accepted that. But now I know that that's not really, you know, the way it has to be. So it's it's fantastic and I love it and um, the kids love it as well. They, they read the Bibles regularly. They've got Jesus in their lives and, uh, you know, I'm honestly so grateful for that because um, they've turned out really amazing and um love love following love following jesus and um, dale at the time when you know back in 2008 wasn't into it really at all um but he is now and um you know it's quite a funny story but there was a wee bit of gentle persuasion um that came into play um back then and he did uh, finally give his life to jesus and and you know has absolutely loved it as well and um, so i'm aware of the time going on i'm bad for running over um because this is my third take. Um, um, a bit about what God's been saying to me over this uh, virus pandemic um, stuff is um, like to stop worrying. 
um, I'm probably what you would call a born warrior, even though I know the Bible teaches us completely against that. Um, I sometimes can't help myself. And back at the end of March, beginning of April, I would say I was probably quite unbearable to live with because I was just getting myself so worked up about it all because I work um, front line and so does Dale. Um, I work in a care home. I uh, love my job. I've got an absolutely brilliant job. Dale's um, front line fire and security. Um, so he's all got to, you know, he's got to be out there. He can be all over Scotland with his um, job. And, uh, you know, I just kept panicking about what if, well, one, what if I take the virus into my colleagues and the residents at um, my work? And also, what if I pick it up and bring it home? Um, so way back, you know, back then, it seems like ages ago now, thankfully, but back then, you know, we would come home, I would, you know, strip at the door before I come in, change in clothes, go for my shower. Dale did the same, he would go into the shed, <laughs> um, strip down, put on different shorts, then go for his shower, then come back down. And um, it was a real, it was a real chore. Um, such a worry. I mean, at one point, Joe actually said to me, Mum is, you know, in a voice message, he said, Mum, is that all you ever talk about? You know, um, I came in from work a couple of times, burst into tears. I just I just found it all so, so stressful. But even though I knew God was saying, what are you doing? Why are you worrying? You don't need to worry. I still kept doing it, like waking up in the middle of the night. What if, you know, what if one of us gets it? What if Dale gets it? You know, then I need to self-isolate for 14 days. If I get it, he needs to isolate for 14 days. What about the girls? Where will they go? We need to keep back from them. What if we give it to them? And... All sorts of crazy stuff um, going through my head and I thought, this is not healthy. <laughs> um, and Dale knows me so well. He bought me a book and I absolutely love this book. I'll show you it, but the writing will be back to front on the screen. It's by Joyce Meyer. It's called Battlefield of the Mind. And um, how apt. <laughs> uh, one of the, the things that she says in it is, think about what you're thinking about. You know, like my mind goes mental with me and I think about all sorts of stuff. But she's saying, think about what you're thinking about. Um, and basically what she's saying there is you can actually bring about actions from your thoughts. So if you're going to keep thinking negative stuff, you're going to have a negative outcome, which obviously I don't want. And the, one of the lines that I'm referring to is it says, our actions are in a direct result of our thoughts. If we have a negative mind, We'll have a negative life, which obviously I don't want a negative life. I've got a great life, I've got a great church family, I've got a great husband, wonderful kids. Things are going so well. We've both still got our full time jobs, and uh, that's a lot to be thankful for right now. And thankfully, the the pandemic and the virus is all slowing down a bit, um, which is making me feel a bit more relaxed. <laughs> um, anyway, so obviously, you know, keeping close to God as well is what we need to do in these times because. I don't think it's just me, you know, sometimes I am yeah, terrible and um, I can really go over the top with worry, but I really don't think I'm the only person. So if you're listening to this and you think, my goodness, you know, that's, that's me as well, then we do have to take um, comfort in what God's saying to us. And uh, a line, a, a great one that I've got um, is Psalm 91. Joe mentioned it in his talk. And I went and got my Bible after his talk. And to be honest, that's, I, I read it most days uh, just to reaffirm this. And it does make such a difference. Um, Psalm 91, and uh, I'm down at verse 5, I think that is. Um, Do not be afraid of the terrors of the night, nor fear the dangers of the day, nor dread the plague that stalks in darkness. Wow. Um, and then verse 10. No evil will conquer you. No plague will come near you dwelling no, sorry, no evil will come near your dwelling, for he orders his angels to protect you wherever you go. Brilliant. That is exactly what I needed to hear, because I do pray for God's angels to protect us, um, to protect our family, and to protect Joe out in Australia. And, you know, as much as the pandemic's bad, and I'm terrible for worrying, but I've got my son in Australia as well, um, and that's massive. Um, so I do pray for God's angels to protect Joe um, in Australia. He's living with six Americans. And yeah, they do all play pranks on each other and stuff like that. But to be honest, Joe's living the dream and he's having a brilliant experience out there. So um, that, that's, a, that's reassuring for me. Erin's um, going to Paris in March. 
So that's another whole worry, is that thinking about the movie Taken and all the rest, but then I've got to stop myself. So I'm doing an awful lot better and I'm just noticing I'm just over my 10 minutes. And before I finish, I just wanted to say that, you know, also to thank God every day for the small things, um, like morning and night. You know, before when you're waking up in the morning, just thank him for a good night's sleep, thank him for the roof over your head, for your house, for your job, for your friends. For everything that you can think of and then thank him at the end of the day for, for having that day and got through the day. Um, it was actually Alison O'Brien's sister that spoke about this one time which kind of gave me a lot of encouragement as well. Um, just to thank God for everything. And then the other thing that I've started doing as well, if you're waking up in the middle of the night, which a lot of people do, it's not just me. But if you're waking up in the middle of the night trying to find it hard to get back over to sleep again, um, some people count sheep. But I've started saying the Lord's Prayer in my head and um, just say the Lord's Prayer over and over and before you know where you are, it's your alarm's going off in the morning and you've had a good night's sleep. So thanks for listening. Thanks, Vicky, for asking me to do this. And I just want to say I love the Take Tens. I watch them every single day. And if I don't put a message on Facebook, um, that's just because I don't, you know, put a lot of stuff on Facebook anyway. But thanks again. And um, yeah. Um, can't wait to see you all soon on a Sunday morning. It's um, it's great doing the Zoom stuff and uh, church meetings on a Sunday right now, but, you know, it's not the same. And I uh, look forward to seeing you all when this is all calmed down. Thanks for listening. Bye.